Welcome to my nasty bathroom, <laughs> my 60s bathroom. I have no layers in my hair, it's all one length. We are gonna do the butterfly cut today. It's like almost 10 p.m. Um, on a Friday night, so why not? <laughs> Let's give myself a Brad Mondo haircut. I've been cutting my hair myself with Brad Mondo's direction for like eight or nine months now. So I'm pretty confident um, in his instructions and hopefully my skill too. But let's get started. We're gonna do the butterfly cut and hopefully I don't mess this up. But if I do, it's just hair and it'll grow back. He said to make sure your hair is wet, so that's what we're doing. Okay, I'm gonna comb my hair or brush my hair, I guess. I don't normally brush my hair when it's wet, but for this, I will. I have this cheap kit from Amazon that has like scissors, thinning shears, and a comb and clips. It was very inexpensive, like $20. I've been using it for nine months or so. Now, he talks about the apex. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like my head is flat. <laughs> so, does that mean like right here? I feel like that means like right here on me. So what I'm gonna do is that to the back of my ear. So <laughs> now I look like the girl from The Grudge. <laughs> um, supposed to comb it forward and then be a unicorn. So. We're going for unicorn, but I feel like it looks like I'm wearing a beanie. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. <laughs> I'm glad my husband is not home right now because <laughs> this looks so funny. Okay. Okay, now we have to do the back, which is supposed to be like really high up. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have the unicorn and the ponytail or the pony or whatever. So this is the part where it gets real. <laughs> um, I'm going to, 
I'm gonna cut off like, I don't know, what is this? It's an entire hand's worth, probably like five or six inches. Let's just do, no, let's do like four. Let's go for four. I think four would be good. Let's see. This is my middle finger. So let's do four inches maybe, right? Okay. I don't know why I'm so scared every time I cut my hair. Hopefully this is a better angle for you guys, but. Okay, let's do this. I feel like it's a little sideways, so we're gonna do it again. And I'm gonna try to redirect my fingers because my finger was getting in the way. These pieces are just like short and they don't reach. So I'll leave that there. Try to do the same length, the same amount off as I did on the front ponytail to the back ponytail. And hopefully I'm eyeballing right, but I feel like like this is about right okay and let me okay I think that's right okay let me check it one more time I guess it's time for the moment of truth. Okay, let's get this one off. Hmm. I can't wait to get this off. Okay. Let's see. Oh! Yes! Oh yes, lots more texture. You see, like I have layers now, like up to here. Before it was all straight. Yes. I think this is really good. Nothing too crazy. Okay, so he talks about like making sure your hair is like textured and not just flat, right? This isn't the hairstyle to have just like flat which is good because my hair is like wavy, especially on wash day, it's like almost curly. So I love it. Look at these pieces. Yes. Yes. These pieces are great. Let's check the back. Oh, way better than what I had going on way better um what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna take a shower and um 
I don't know if tonight or tomorrow morning I'll show you. But like when my hair is done, you know, I'll show you what it looks like. This is what's in my sink. These are the scissors, you see. Okay, and in case you guys were wondering, I thought I was cutting off four, but I was cutting off more like five inches. So there you go. Okay, you guys, this is the final <laughs> haircut. I think it added so, so much to my hair. It was before just flat and then like all the volume was only down here and like poofy down here. And now I have like, I have layers now. It looks so, so good. It looks so good. So I definitely recommend this DIY haircutting technique from Brad Mondo. Definitely give it a try. It looks so, so great. I mean, it really, really, I couldn't do this like freehand. Like if I had to like pull off layers and like, I don't know how hairdressers cut it like that. This whole ponytail thing really helped. And like I said, this was with cutting five inches off from each ponytail. And um, if you want more like drastic and maybe you want like layers more, to your chin area which is not really my style um then you would cut way more but i feel like five still really five inches really made a huge difference in my hair and i'm super happy with it i feel like a new woman so thanks for watching if you like the video please consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye